Hey everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Scott Wolf. I'm the Director of Sales and Operations at Teco Systems. With me, I've got John Fennell, the Director of IT at KWI. Today, we're gonna to walk through a little bit of a customer success story. I hope everybody's enjoying Accelerate so far. We've got about 20 minutes. Uh, what I wanna to do today is walk through uh, a little bit about some of the challenges uh, that some of our manufacturing customers are facing uh, and walk through how Creatio can hopefully help some of those. Uh, but the bulk of the 15 minutes that we have here, uh, we're going to have kind of a Q&A where we're going to talk with John and John's going to explain a little bit about what they're doing with Creatio and how Creatio has helped them uh, in the last few months as they've been standing up. So with manufacturers, uh, some of the challenges that we've seen as we've talked to some of our customers, um, and, and this is really big here in the States right now, is a hot issue with, with the job market, right? COVID really impacted uh, a lot of the manufacturers with some of the trained workers uh, on both sides, both the workers and the employees, uh, we've seen a lot of, of turnover. Um, and so that's been a, a real hot topic here uh, in the news. And we've seen a lot of folks uh, in the manufacturing space specifically uh, try to backfill uh, some of these open wrecks. Another issue we see is, uh, you know, about half by this Kronos report, about half of employees really want to try to find a balance between home and work with the way technology is. Uh, meaning, you know, back in the day at work, you would always have your, your .NET or green screen ERPs that you'd work in, and then you'd go home and you'd have a, a user-friendly application at home. And what we've seen now is a better shift where when we're at work, we want, you know, user-friendly, intuitive applications. And uh, I think 48% is a little low. Hopefully we can try to get that up uh, you know, with products like Creatio as it becomes more, more user-friendly. One of the things John's going to talk about uh, in the bottom left that, that KWI had, and, and we see this across the board, even with, with customers, not necessarily even in manufacturing, is you know, having users hunt and peck for data uh, and finding information. Uh, and so they say by this beekeeper report that you know, on average, workers waste about three hours of time uh, having a system like Creatio with different integrations that, that John will talk about uh, will hopefully give time to users to, to be more productive. Um, and then the, the, the last here, uh, big core challenge that, that we'll be talking about is the fact that executives don't believe uh, that they're equipping their workers with the best technologies to fulfill their roles. Uh, of course, CRM being one of the, the, the gaps that we hope to fill, um, but you know, give the executives the confidence uh, in giving users best of breed Gartner Magic Quadrant industry leading applications like Creatio, giving them those tools so they can be successful. So those are kind of some of the pains that, that we see as we're talking to, to other manufacturers. Uh, and, and one of the things that Creatio uh, affords and, and helps fix those problems is, you know, giving folks a uh, uh, improving sales processes, right? And so the first thing is giving data between disparate departments. Uh, one of the things we talk about is, you know, having sales, service, marketing, everybody in theory is talking to the same customers. And it goes to that, you know, wasting time searching for data. If we have disparate departments talking to the same customers, let's give everybody a single source of truth. Uh, and we, you know, I know that was one thing for, for John and Derek at the KWI team, and we'll talk about was getting real-time access to uh, reports. Uh, and, and so the folks can make, and the executives can make good decisions. Uh, and so you know, a tool like Creatio will help with that. Uh, as well as giving uh, reports in AI and predictive lead scoring. Uh, hopefully we'll be leveraging more with leads with, with KWI and we'll talk about that, uh, but giving the ability to do some, some ML and AI for, for uh, lead scoring. Uh, and of course, everything built on a, on a low code, no code platform. So uh, the, the team at, at KWI is able to configure the system a little bit there, themselves. Uh, so with that being said, you know, those are some of the problems that some of the manufacturers have seen and, and hopefully how then Creatio can help overcome those. Uh, I want to spend the remainder here uh, actually uh, interviewing John a little bit. So uh, by way of introductions, again, um, my name is Scott Wolf. So Teco Systems is a, is a West Coast Creatio business partner. Uh, we have a strong uh, customer base in manufacturing and distribution. Um, and with me is uh, my friend, John. John is the director of IT at 
uh, KWI. John, just for the folks that are listening in here, uh, for the first time here, pass the baton to you, maybe give a little intro of yourself and a little bit about KWI. Sure, I'm uh, IT director for KW International. Uh, we are a company been operating for 57 years. We're a fabrication and manufacturing company that supports the oil and gas industry. Uh, we support our, we build pressure vessels, D high equipment, filter separators, skids, large number of orifice meters. Uh, we're also uh, ASME uh, code certified and support the upstream, midstream and downstream markets with both custom packages and as well as stock program. Awesome. So we'll get to the benefits of Creatio, I guess, in, in a few minutes and some of the things you guys have seen. But, you know, you, you guys have been a customer of ours for about five months now, I think, and have been using it. Um, I remember working through the, the sales cycle with you and, and the enterprise team. Um, maybe you can tell some of the folks that may be experiencing the same pains. Can you talk about the processes before Creatio was implemented? You sure. know, how you guys were doing some forecasting and, and running some disparate systems. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so historically, uh, the operations, uh, operating sales team, uh, they, they mainly worked from Excel uh, and SharePoint. And really the forecast from the, for like the week over week uh, and future sales pipeline was really, really difficult, uh, especially when every, every person had their own spreadsheet that deal with their own opportunities and uh, quoting. And of course we have our ERP solution, but it was all kind of a mixed bag and is really hard to pin up on one board or one pane of glass to give you that uh, really nice uh, seamless outlook. Yeah, yeah, I remember uh, through the, the front end sales cycle, uh, might've been with, with Derek, uh, the, the VP of sales, he showed me some of the uh, aggregation he has of you know the Friday afternoon, he was emailing every sales rep, what's your forecast? And you know, for lack of a better term, the redundancy, right? Like managing everything out of a spreadsheet. Oh, yeah across your different, your different divisions, because you do have locations that do wildly different things. He said that was, that was a, a pretty big, you know, we talked about three hours uh, being wasted for disparate data, but let's talk about, you know, the hours that were just consolidating data. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I know when, when we were chatting with you guys, you were looking at different CRM vendors that are out there. Uh, we went through a pretty good sales cycle with you. Can you, can you talk about, you know, I'm sure in the IT you could probably lean the value with some of the integrations into your ERP and, and others, but were there a few things that caught your guys' attention and why you guys decided to, to go forward with Creatio? Uh, sure. So the main reason that we landed on Creatio uh, or even come about seeing Creatio was we were in the market for a low no-code uh, application of sorts. And so that actually steered us up, uh, into the Creatio realm and then it just kind of, it fell in place. It was kind of perfect solution for what we were looking for. Something that wasn't uh, out of the box and you only get what's out of the box, but something that can be very customized with not a lot of effort long-term uh, and, and honestly just kind of cover all sockets of what we were looking for from a CRM. Yeah, I, I know in the, in the manufacturing space, there's often, you know, when you're looking at an application, to your point, the other software vendors will say, this is the way the software works. You need to change your business to fit exactly how the software works. Uh, exactly. That's not what we were wanting at all. Uh, and something that would give us uh, good insights and dashboards on top of it. Uh, we've used other products in the past to kind of string things together, but it's nice uh, having a single pane of glass for the executive team and the sales team all in one place. Yeah, good. Yeah, and I, I think through some of the training we did, uh, I'm really glad to see when we log into your environment periodically, I'll see some cool enhancements. I think even Nick, you know, one of your your power admins, like a sales guy's going mm -hmm. in there and he's written some really great dashboards for himself and and Derek's getting some good reports that, you know, you guys are able to, to write for yourself. That's absolutely that's powerful. Um, so that's actually a, a good guidepost. I know you guys have only been live for, for a few months now. Um, can you talk a little bit about the, the onboarding process as far as, you know, after the decision has been made, you know, what, how training's been going, you've got all your sales guys using it now. Can, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's been really nice. Uh, we went through, we like to have a few things in place for, for obviously uh, our guys' ease of use. 
so single sign on, uh, the email import, uh, all those types of things have, have drastically helped everybody kind of uh, put everything in that single pane of glass. But as far as the onboarding and everything, you guys have uh, been really good at not only adapting to uh, like the one sales guy that's kind of kind of become the power user, but also be able to handhold uh, some other folks that are slow learners. It's, and, and to be honest, it hasn't been that difficult just because of the easy use of the program in general. Yeah, good. Yeah, and and that's to the point, yeah, where I'll see some, sometimes I come in new fields, new processes. I think you guys updated the DCM on your own. So that's that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, working with, with other manufacturers, one of the big things we hear uh, sometimes is the need for, for forecast and demand and production, right? Where we talked about forecasting ops, but with you, what you guys do with these big multi-million dollar uh, opportunities is doing you know forecasting production on the back end after the op is, is won. Um, you know, Derek and I, when we met, we worked to, to work on forecasting. And I think one of the more recent enhancements we've made is this ability to, you know, take an opportunity and get some other folks involved with, with the quoting and the RFQ, right? You guys have a kind of this configuration process. I don't know if you can talk about that a little bit with me. Yeah, sure. So uh, traditionally, our quoting process has always uh, been email uh, email health, for lack of a better term. Uh, everybody flings emails, threads all over the place. And so one of the things that we've tried to do with the, the tracker is to basically see when an opportunity flows through to the quote side, it actually auto commissions and sends out the notifications to who needs to go in and do it. Uh, and then also it allows us to track our quoting process along the way and allow salesmen to see where their quoting process in, is in place today. Now they had that before, but again, it was, where do I go? Uh, I need a navigation map just to find uh, what piece of the puzzle I'm looking for. And and not always, even in that point, it was easily, easily found. So this is again, kind of bringing it to a single pane of glass, not just for the sales team, but for the operations team. And then also on the back end of that, because uh, Creatio is a very nice tool to leverage in this function. We're uh, also bringing in uh, the ability to uh, configure our products within uh, using some other third-party plug-in type of programs that will allow us to kick in a full-time, like a full order straight into our ERP system, uh, all while the user just sees the front end of Creatio, and then uh, obviously our ERP side of the house uses the ERP. Nobody sees that in between, but all the magic's happening because of the low no code ability to program those measures in to force feeding our ERP. Yeah, that's, uh, that's beautiful. I appreciate you explaining that flow because that's, that's kind of the utopia we're really working with and, and that you guys will see is that the, the sales user, whether it's Nick or Derek or whomever, really lives in one view. They don't have to jump into your ERP to generate a quote. They can be as productive and live in their world. And that we're just going to let you know the BPM engine of Creatio run the automation of kidding, bringing in all of your products, customer inventory availability, all that stuff that you guys are going to want. They'll have that right at their fingertips and they're not going to have to jump between system and system, right? They'll get that right Correct. in view. Absolutely. I know we've got a lot of really great enhancements. I think, you know, a good roadmap with your team of, a better integration into the business central and um, you know, whether it be some of the RFQ stuff, uh, mobility, thank gosh, we're all starting to travel more. And I know you guys are, you know, down there in Texas traveling a ton, you know, so we'll, we've got some good enhancements. Um, but I, John, I appreciate your time this afternoon. Um, we wanted to give some of the folks that maybe are in the market to look at Creatio that are in your industry, um, you know, kind of a good, good flow, good process of your evaluation process. Uh, and some of the benefits you guys are getting. And, and we're really excited maybe next year, the year after to do a good future state interview with you again, when we've got all, all these other things done. So uh, John, as, a, as your partner, I want to you know, formally thank you for doing this uh, and hope everybody that's, uh, that's here on the recording, hopefully you guys have a great uh, rest of Accelerate. Uh, look forward to chatting with everybody at our booth when they uh, decide to show up. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Thank you, John. Thank you.